People living with cancer need to know the signs and symptoms of blood clots, also known as venous thrombosis. Blood clots are a common problem for people living with cancer. About 1 in 200 cancer patients develop a blood clot, though the risk of getting a blood clot is not the same in all people with cancer. For example, the risk is higher if the cancer is actively growing, if it is spread to multiple areas, if the person is receiving chemotherapy or has surgery, or if the person has other medical conditions, such as infections. Venous thrombosis can develop in the deep veins of the legs, a condition called deep vein thrombosis, or DVT for short, or it can occur in the blood vessels of the lungs, a condition called pulmonary embolism, or PE for short. Sometimes blood clots can occur in the arms, especially if a catheter is in place for giving chemotherapy or taking blood. When DVT occurs, the clot causes the flow of blood returning from the leg back to the heart to slow down or back up. This causes congestion sort of like a traffic jam. As it gets pulled down by gravity, fluid collects in the ankle or calf. This can cause swelling of the leg. You might also get cramping in the calf, redness or discoloration of the leg, or a sense of heaviness in the leg. If the DVT is in the arm, similar symptoms occur. People may complain of aching in the shoulder or neck and might notice that the veins on the back of their hands pop out. If the DVT occurs around a catheter, the catheter might not work properly so that it becomes difficult to draw blood from it or inject fluid or drugs into it. If you have any of these symptoms, you should tell your doctor. When PE occurs, the clot blocks blood flow in the lungs. This will often cause breathing problems, especially when you're exercising or doing regular day-to-day -day activities like walking upstairs, carrying groceries, or doing household chores. Some patients may get chest pain. The chest pain can have a sharp stabbing quality that is worse with deep breaths, or it can feel like a pressure on your chest. When a clot is in a larger vessel in the lungs, or there are multiple clots in the lungs, you can feel lightheaded or dizzy. Some people also report feeling anxious. If you get any of these symptoms, it is important to have someone take you to the emergency department or call 911 if you are by yourself. PE is a medical emergency because it can be life-threatening. You must not ignore these symptoms because even if they are not from PE, they can be signs of other serious conditions, like a heart attack. So it is important to get medical help right away. Treatment is usually very effective and can save lives. The symptoms of blood clots can sometimes be subtle and can be confused with other conditions that cause similar symptoms. So if you have these symptoms, it is important to see your doctor quickly to have special tests done to check if you have developed a blood clot. What are the treatments for thrombosis? For people living with cancer, the recommended treatment for venous thrombosis is an injectable blood thinner called low molecular weight heparin. This is a drug that is given by a small needle that is inserted under the skin very much like the way insulin is given in people with diabetes. The injection is usually given once a day. The dose is based on your weight and how well your kidneys work and needs to be calculated by the doctor. The drug works by stopping blood from clotting quickly. Once you start the treatment, the DVT or PE stops growing and the body can slowly start breaking the clot down. Because this drug slows down blood clotting, one of the risks is that if you have a severe bleed, for example, if you seriously injure yourself, that bleed can be harder to stop. In most people with cancer and thrombosis, the benefit of treatment with blood thinners far outweighs the risk of bleeding. Once you start treatment for a blood clot, you need to continue taking the medication for at least three to six months. A shorter period of treatment can put you at risk of getting more blood clots. Your doctor will see you a few months after starting this medication to help you make a decision on whether you can stop treatment or whether you need to continue. That decision depends on what's happening with your cancer, if you're still receiving cancer therapy, and how well you've tolerated the injection therapy. If you don't want to use injection therapy, there are other options, but they don't work as well as injections. Warfarin is a pill that has been used as a blood thinner for over 70 years. It is still sometimes used for treating thrombosis in patients with cancer. It is taken by mouth, but it can be high maintenance. Because warfarin interacts with some types of food and some types of drugs, including chemotherapy, people need different doses at different times. The only way to make sure the correct dose is being used for each person is to check their blood levels regularly. This may be hard to manage if you are living with cancer. There are newer pills available that work like warfarin that don't require dose changes or regular blood work but since they have not been fully tested in patients with cancer, they are not yet recommended. 
If you do have cancer and get a blood clot, your doctor will be able to help you make the best treatment choice for you.